Hello everyone, it's Exo Man. Uh, I want to talk briefly with you about generators. Now, I, I'm not a, I'm not any sort of generator expert, uh, but I have uh, a couple of these Honda units, and I first of all I want to say that these are really good uh, generators. This one is brand is a brand new generator. It was in the box, which I have in, inside. And I just wanted to prep it for the, for Hurricane Dorian because because it is the, actually the only generator I had on hand, and that was fortunate that we didn't really have to use it. Uh, <clears throat> so what I'm doing is I'm 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 restoring it to its original condition, winterizing it, whatever you want to call that. Basically, I'm taking out the gas. Uh, so the uh, the units are really handy the way they're set up. That you just open them up on the side like so, and <clears throat> you see here is your oil input and, and gauge, if you will. Now the, the reason I'm taking the oil out first is because I want to tip the unit and, and pour the gas out, and I don't want to foul the unit and have oil going into the wrong places. I, someone else can explain that better than I can, but it will foul up the spark plug, go into the head, etc. Yeah, so it's just a precaution, basically. Uh, <clears throat> but the interesting thing about this is, I, I guess this is, <laughs> again, I'm not an engine guy, but uh, I guess that these things have this sort of break-in, but look how dark this oil is. And another thing about this that I find interesting is these units are said to be, uh, after manufacture, shipped without oil. That was not the case with this unit because I bought this oil and look how much I used. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that fluid line there, but I only used, I only had to put an ounce or less in this, in this unit. Uh, it wouldn't fit anymore, so apparently it was shipped with oil in it. And that can be pretty bad because uh, you don't want oil to uh, foul up your spark plug, get into your carburetor, things like that. I've had to repair uh, one of these generators for just such a thing. I guess this is the, the you know the first wearing of you, you guys can tell me why that's so dark. I guess when you start them up the first time, uh, you get you're going to get some particulate in there, <coughs> new metal and parts, brand new parts rubbing together. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's probably a good thing for, for, for the break-in, you know, to uh, remove the oil out, or rather replace it, and uh, have that be part of your break-in of your new machine. This one was, as I say, obviously shipped with oil in it. And I can only assume that that is because they test the units before they ship them out uh, to the dealers or you know, to, the, to the end user, and that's a good thing. But I guess in this case, they didn't quite remove all of the oil before they shipped it out, which could be a bad thing, but it wasn't. And I think there's about, it's about a 14 ounce uh, capacity in the reservoir for oil in here, and it's a 10W30 is what goes in the unit. So I started it up after gassing it up and, and making sure there was enough oil and it, it ran like a champ as Hondas always seem to do. Any kind of small equipment I have around here is Honda. But I am getting a, a, new, a new generator which is a I think it's a 10,000 watt startup, 8,000 running watts and it is by Champion and also give me your comments on that if you own one if you've ever owned one uh, good or bad I've, I've heard both I've heard a lot of really good things about them so uh, we're gonna we're gonna try that out and that, that'll power most of everything we need uh, for the house to run. Here is that unit it's a it's the uh, Champion 8000 watt dual fuel. The beauty of this is you can run the thing on propane or gas. You just turn the switch to choose the fuel. So this will be uh, a new thing for, for us to have around and I think that is a very, very handy feature.
and look, it really, it actually turns out to be about the same price as the, the uh, EU2200. So just to be on the safe side, when you're dumping the last bit of your gas, you want to tilt the unit that way. Even though you've taken your oil out, tilt it that way so you're not tipping it toward your carburetor. You don't want the oil flowing back into, into those lines, into places where it doesn't belong, any, any residual oil. And then, to finish up, I'm going to replace the oil, and I'm going to have no gas in it. And once the oil is replaced, I'm going to crank it back up because there'll be some residual gas in, you know, the fuel line, the, the fuel pump, uh, all, all those places. You want to get it, you want to burn it out completely. And then, as I've said, you want to open up your carburetor here to make sure that there's no gas in the car. You do that, you, you almost will never have a problem. You get a good generator and keep it without gas. You know, in the carburetor, you get with these Hondas, you've got a little thing right here where you can just unscrew this. It's a little flat head, as I recall. And then it will drain out of this drain line, and you can pick it up here in, a, in some sort of uh, cup or something. And that drains your carb instantaneously. How, how neat is that? You, you'll, you'll not have to worry about your carburetor gumming up. So also, you know, leave your comments if you have ideas as, as to what to run through there. I use uh, only ethanol free, free gas and I recommend that or you know at least putting a stabilizer in your gas. Uh, but I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this unit or sell it. It's uh, you know I've got a lot of I'll have a lot of money tied up in them when I have the other one. It's interesting Honda Hondas are quite expensive but they're going to they're going to last and they're going to perform for you. So Anyway, I just wanted to point that out and show you that oil and uh, see if I can get some, some sort of some, some comments and some opinions and knowledge about uh, your experience with Honda generators and, and champions. Again, please be sure to check out the comments section below and be sure to leave comments, uh, especially if you are knowledgeable about generators, small engines, it can be very, very useful and helpful to people who, uh, who, need, who need some help with their generators. And we can make this sort of a forum down below in, here in the comments section. Again, thank you all for watching and happy generating to you.